almost has things set up. It seems like we'll be plugging in and then a magical thing will appear on the screen. Maybe, 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 fail. Oh, almost. Yay! All right. At this point, we begin the SMOFCON 32 presentation uh, for Helsinki in 2017 Worldcon bid, and I turn it over to Emily Arrow. Hello, I'm Emily, like he just said, um, and I'm the chair of the Helsinki 2017 Worldcon bid, and we're bidding to run the Worldcon in Helsinki, which in my completely unbiased opinion is the most beautiful city in the world. <laughs> it's, it's a very it's a very walkable city. It's a sort of miniature metropolis with a very unique architecture mixing east and west. You should come see. It's also a harbor city. Um, so we're actually connected with daily cruise ferries uh, to all of the big other ports in the Baltic Sea. That's how the, a good chunk of tourists come to Helsinki. You could do that too. <laughs> we also have a bloody marvelous and excellent public transport system, which is the default option for everyone to move around. And if we get the Worldcon to come, this will all be free uh, for Worldcon members, thanks to the city of Helsinki sponsoring us. Um, this part map right here is a map of the Helsinki metro and tram routes. It's missing the bus routes which go all over the place. Mesokeskus, our site, is right in the smack middle of it all. So it's connected to everything. So you can get to anywhere in the city for free. Uh, public transport runs pretty much 24-7. It's a bit quiet around 3 or 4 a.m. But, yeah. Where? Um, our facilities are really, they provide an excellent place to hold a Worldcon of almost any size. Um, this is also in fact reflected in our contract, which lets us decide in fact what part of the convention center we want to have uh, only after actually MAC 2, if we were to win the vote, of course. Um, and this is Amphi. The, the space hall where we're hoping to hold the uh, Hugos and the Masquerade. And like all the other spaces, pretty much, it comes pretty quick with seating and tech, audio, projectors. So most of our tech and, and uh, decorator needs are actually taken care of uh, already. Um, Finnish fandom is very open, very inclusive, and uh, very large. Um, as in many of the other cities in Finland, in Helsinki, we have a uh, bi-weekly uh, pub meeting, um, everyone you see there is a fan. And uh, Finnish fandom is also very open, very inclusive, and very large. Um, sorry, those were the, uh, very active and integrated, sorry. These are photos from the last Helsinki FinCon in 2013, where we had about 7,000 warm bodies on site. Um, Finnish fandom is not fractured, so if we get to host a Worldcon, in addition to hopefully many of you helping us out, uh, we get to draw on Finnish fandom, which is not just large in science fiction literature, but also in many other uh, parts of fandom. We're all one big happy family, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> and, and because Finland is a small country, we know that we're not going to be able to put together a world convention all by ourselves. So we, we're already now looking to get help and looking to make this a world event. Uh, the little red dot there is Helsinki. Um, our board members, which is the core of our committee, are spread over Europe and uh, the US. And uh, that's the people we've currently got on committee and staff. Uh, working uh, for the bid and helping to promote us all over the place. We've currently got a little bit under 800 pre-supporters from a little bit over 30 different countries. We want to put together a, a Worldcon that is truly a world convention. And we think that the best place in time to do that is Helsinki in 2017. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
uh, the next presentation, Belong.